According to officials at this morning's county commission meeting, the plan to transition Erlanger from a public to a private institution has been in the works for about eight months. And now we're getting an idea of when that process will be completed, 2024. But attorneys from law firm Baker Donaldson say the county can transition Erlanger back to its public status if things go wrong. Hamilton County is moving ahead with the plan to transition Erlanger Medical Center from a public entity to a private nonprofit. The move has been in the works for several months and according to Mayor Jim Coppinger is intended to make Erlanger a more competitive hospital. Erlanger Hospital is about a $2 billion economy in Hamilton County, so they're really, really important to us. And all this really does, uh, I hope the taxpayers understand, is it makes them more competitive. Richard Coward of law firm Baker Donaldson discussed Erlanger's 50-page mission statement on the transition with the county commission this morning. According to that statement, the county has the ability to resume public control of the hospital if it encounters financial distress or violates the outlined community covenants. Erlanger must honor the missional and community covenants covenants that have been designed, and if they do not honor those covenants, then there's a way to say, uh, to come back in and say um, that that can return to an authority if necessary. According to Cowart, very little will change for those employed at Erlanger. Erlanger personnel and medical staff will be unaffected by the transition. The Children's Hospital will remain open, and the hospital will continue to be a level one trauma center. They can be competitive. They're, they are still an integer care hospital. You have uh, place, placements made to be sure that all uh, policies are followed and the employee benefits are taken care of. Richard Cowart also said that Erlanger will remain a teaching hospital. Even after the transition is completed, Erlanger will, Erlanger will maintain its status as a safety net facility. Live in the studio, Chris Kewen, News 12 Now.